last time. Ow. Fast forward sequence. Step right up, any of you who have the time and the courage. Oh my god, what's going on? But looks to me like we're not in Kansas anymore. And now, the continuation. That was for Swift. Hey everybody, it's Zero Gear Plus, and welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Trigger. So, last time I tried to figure out where the heck we are. Um, this is actually, again, my second take of this video. I hope that's not a recurring thing with this LP, but... I forgot to move the cursor at the turn of my last... At the turn of when I started recording it last time, so... Magus Army destroyed the bridge! Great. Oh, good, they finally found the queen. Hello. Sir? Sir? You're a stranger here, too? I'm Toman, the Explorer. If you're buying, I'll tell you a story. Sure. Cider, please. If you please. <laughs> Thanks, it's about the missing queen. She disappeared while visiting that cathedral to the west, and... Beg your pardon? What? They found her? Okay, never mind. Yeah, I feel like a broken record doing all this stuff again. Uh, residents... Oh, I probably should have gone here first. So if you talk to this lady... Millennial Fair, here? What are you talking about? It's the year 600. Yeah. If you guys couldn't tell by now, setting a chrono trigger takes place in time. In the flow of time. Amazing. We've gone back 400 years, almost like magic. Well, pretty much like magic, actually. Um, yeah, see, this guy's just forging Lean's bell. So amazing. And this is probably what drives home the point for me of what makes Chrono Trigger just so good. Well, let's see. They say they found the queen. But Thomas said that she's been... Something about this cathedral? Let's check it out. We want nothing but world peace, or a piece of the world, tee hee. Yeah, that was kinda awkward. You, look, you might want like to stick around for the organ recital, it's a real killer. I don't know nuns were allowed to talk like that. People wouldn't know what to do with themselves in a truly peaceful world. My, what delicious, uh, I mean delightful looking humans. Okay, maybe they're not nuns. Maybe they're cherubims disguised as or angels something. Maybe that's why they're calling us humans. I, I don't know, but this place is weird. I'm leaving. Hmm. This place looks a little big to just be that one room. Eh, I'm sure that has nothing to do with anything. More or less graphic design. Oh, I want to take a second here to... Um, no, you know what? I'll do that later. So here in Guardia Forest, here we're going to run into some new enemies. These are blue eaglets. If I can get them all close together, I can use Cyclone on them. As a group. And I should be able to take him out. No. You know what? No. We're going to do this early. Yeah. I'm just going to attack them individually before I die. Yeah, that'd be kind of smart. Boy. I tell you. this one, and not that big a deal. It's constantly moving enemies like that that make active good, but I'm not, to tell you guys the truth, I'm not a big fan of active, so. Let's go up here. Ignore this, because there's two, well actually there's a new enemy in there actually, but we're going to meet up with them right over here. These are Rolly Riders. Um, I keep wanting to give, like, a number of HP that they have, but I simply don't know. If only there were a way that I could see how much HP a monster has. Well, there is a way, but I'm not going to use it. Because it's next to worthless. And I leveled up, nice. Halt, who goes there? Check out that hair. Hey, I like Chrono's hair. In fact, today my hair looks a lot like his. Where are you from, son? Are you one of Magus Troopers? 
Like, Steve? Hardly. <laughs> this kid would never make the cut. Show us your stamp collecting, son. Har har, now beat it, shrimp. Stop that at once. Queen, lean! Oh god, we're dead now. Be ostracized. Or well, exiled. Or even beheaded. Ugh. Ah, Disney quotes for the win. That made me want to bring something up. Um, Ding is only going to be working for... Turn around, bright eyes! Ding! Um, because it was just getting to be too much of a hassle doing it with everything else. And in fact, I do not want to be quoting as much H.C. Bailey uh, and Nintendo Capri Sun as I used to. Um, in fact, I know I quoted Liam Six a couple times. I know I quoted Chuck Conroy at least twice. I quoted Proton John once, and that was in the second to last episode, so that was kind of funny. Sure, I'll take a snooze. Did I mention that I love the music here? <laughs> I love this game's music, but this is this music in Guardian Castle. This is my favorite. This is my second favorite song in the game. This is just so good. Sir, I understand that you're the one who saved my dear wife, the Queen. But can you tell me what happened? Lynn's been acting rather odd. She seems to have lost her coral pin, which is something she guarded with her life. Forgive me, you must be tired. We can talk about this later. Please rest in the night's quarters downstairs to the left. Already did. Hey, Mr. Chancellor. Rude much? Let's sneak up on him. See where he's going. See, it's that kind of stuff I want to stop doing. Because that's a Nintendo Capri Sun thing, and I have to stop it. Ah! What do you want? Get out of my face! Oh, fine. Be a jerk about it. Oh, for those of you playing this game at home, in this Guardia Castle, do not open any treasure chests. Believe me, it'll be worth your while later. Yeah, that weird place is explains why he's being such a crack job. However, um, examine the wall. She escaped? But how? She was in a secured room. What? What? Yes. See, that kind of stuff I can get away with, because that's a personal experience. That's nothing I stole from anybody. Like, I could make that my thing from now on. What? Yes. But you can't say it like that. You have to say What? What? Yes. You have to say it like that. I could tell that story, but... Nah. You know what? I think I will, actually. Without naming names, there's a guy I know. He's just very busy. Very busy all the time. Um, so he doesn't exactly hear everything you say. Uh, and... And so, when you talk to him, he catches some things, but not everything. So he'll, so he'll, you'll have to say to him, like, the same thing, like, three times before he gets it. And then when you say it, he'll feel like a dunce, and he'll under and then he'll recognize that he understood what you said without saying like, "Oh my God, I I seem I sound so stupid." So he'll he'll go, "What? What? What? Yes." So that's just one of my personal experiences. Please leave us. I need to talk to this individual. Certainly, your highness. We'll be waiting out here and gossip about you behind your back. Come nearer, sir. How about farther? Nah, you have to go closer. Progress his plot that way. <laughs> Fooled you, didn't I, Chrono? What? Yes. <laughs> it's me, but everyone calls me Lean. I'm so relieved you're here. We barely know each other, but somehow I knew you'd come for me. Thank you, Chrono. Uh-oh. Something's wrong. What? What's happening? It feels like I'm being torn apart. Help me, Chrono. I'm scared. Please, Chrono, help me! That wasn't good. Did, did I do that? I'm just walking on my merry way. I didn't do a thing. Just talk to the queen, and now I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Uh, what do I say? What do I say? Um, of course not. 
Y yes. Um. Do do. <laughs> gotta get out of here. Gotta get out of here. Gotta get out of here. I think I did something bad. I have to skip town. <laughs> Come up with a new name. <laughs> you okay? Did you find the girl? <laughs> Gone? What do you mean she's gone? Hmm, it's just as I thought. What did you think? I knew I recognized her. This looks identical to the castle in our time. Takes place in the setting through time. I bet they mistook that girl for her ancestor. You see, she's a member of the royal family in our time. She's Princess Nadia. In my last take of this video, I called her Princess Nardia, and I laughed real hard. Marley, that is, Princess Nardia, is a descendant of Queen Lean. I could make an H.C. Bailey reference, but I'm not going to. As I recall, someone was supposed to have saved her, but history's been changed. Ah, uh, sinuses! Marlon well, looks so much like Lane, they probably called off their search when she appeared here. But if the real but if the real queen is killed, closes out the timeline and the ancestry. Dot com. My god, what am I doing today? <laughs> Marley will simply disappear. There might still be time. No, there isn't if she already disappeared. This is what I hate about this game. This is the only thing I do not like about this game, and that is its employment of temporal physics. Marley disappeared while I was upstairs. Ergo, Queen Lean should be dead. But no, we have to go and save her so that we can get Marley to come back? But she can't come back if she's dead, and the only way for her to be dead well, not necessarily dead, but non-existent. But the only way for that to happen would be if... Oh, I don't know. Let's say... Lean was dead. Then Marley would be non-existent. But let's see, if we saved her, then let's say that that would make her come back. But that wouldn't make sense, because it's all temporal physics. I could go to the right, but there's nothing important over there. Now, Luca is going to learn attack after gaining 10 tech points that I really want, um, and that is Flame Toss. So I'm going to stay in here and kind of tech grind off monsters here uh, by fighting Where the Rolly Riders. There they are. Okay. Um, then over here. I didn't mention this earlier. Um, we have a free shelter over here. I've gotten one before already. So that's kind of cool. Um, I could go. In fact, I'm going to go down here. And grab a power tab. There's another thing over here, so I'll show you what happens if you grab it. Okay, so in that last battle, Mar Marley, Luca learned... Uh-oh. Well, let's show you what she learned. She learned... Crap. She learned Flame Toss, which enabled us to learn the dual tech. Flame Whirl. As long as Luca knows Flame Toss and Chrono knows Cyclone, it's kind of like a... well... It looks like that. It's like super flamey Cyclone attack. And it deals double what Cyclone does on its own. That is amazing. So. Let's go exploring. Just a Oh, here's one I, now I can explain this to you guys. Um, the artist for Dragon Ball Z also did the artwork for Chrono Trigger. If you couldn't tell, Chrono looks a lot like Goku. Um, for those of you that disagree with me, you guys are crazy. Because it is, in fact, the same guy. Luca looks almost like Bulma in every way, except she doesn't have seafoam green hair. In fact, her character has purple hair? So, I don't understand why the animators changed their mind at the last second. But, like, here, I'll show you. Case in point, whenever you use an in, this is when it's most apparent. Goku Bulma. Bam! There you go. 
I try not to talk about Dragon Ball Z too much in my episodes here, because God knows I do it way too much for Dual Gaming HQ. I haven't so much lately, though, but that's footage you guys haven't seen yet. Um, anyway. But, so yeah, I try to keep it at bay as much as possible. But what goes on in this creepy cathedral? I don't like the looks of this place. And I've been hearing mixed stories about it. So let's check it out next time on Let's Play Chrono Trigger. This is Zero Gear Plus signing off, and I'll see you guys then.